Wah. Okay. And BGM. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi guys. Ugh. I am. Um, I feel like no matter how late the stream is, I'm always going to be just like slightly scuffed going into it. Anyway, hi. I'm Katara Kalen. For those who do not know me, I am a VTuber, obviously, who loves art and stuff and, and story games and and today we're making more stuff and we have a different camera this time yay look it actually focuses wow incredible we're gonna see if it's a nuisance or not is this is this music too much on everybody else's brain too anybody anybody else i'm gonna turn it down just a little bit Maybe, maybe they'll be a little better. Hey, Flo, oh my, wait, why is it not working? Okay, just, yay. Ah, pop, pop, pop. I still need to put audio on that. Anyway, so like it says, like it says in the stream title, I'm going to be attempting to make keycaps today because you know what? I'll just show you my keyboard. That's easier. Kind of. Uh, my cord. My cords are a mess. Okay, so do you see this? Do you see how the escape and tab key are gone? Because they're over here. See? That's, that's my normal little escape key. And my normal little tab key. But... I had some extra plastic laying around from when I had done some 3D printing projects. Hey, look, you can see the glow from VTube Studio. Haha. <laughs> That's amusing. And so basically I put these together so that they fit. It kind of wiggles around a little bit too much, which I'm not too happy about, but also Hoimer, welcome, welcome. So it wiggles around a little bit. I'm not too happy about that, but but they work. So they do work as keys. They're just a little big. But anyway, the plan today is to make little succulents to go on top of these. So it's a little hard to see, but it's just a little bit of plastic. And the little nubs, I'm going to be putting the clay on top of that. And that way is just where I sanded it down. So yeah, there's that one. And then this one's a little funkier looking. Oh yeah, I just glued them together. Now, unfortunately, like a normal key, they don't have like those little tabs. Okay, I keep, I keep going to the center of mass of, of my phone camera, not under the camera. I have to be aware of that. Um, but anyway, do you see how these have these like little tabs on the sides? That's what keeps them in place and unfortunately the plastic I have does not have that. So if it, once I put these in my keyboard, if I flip it upside down, they just fall out. Which is great, you know. But anyway, so if all else fails, I could just put those keys back in. And Flo, I did not break it, okay? There's a thing. There's a keycap remover. And is specifically for taking keys out. <laughs> I feel so privileged with the autofocus. It is nice. I think I need to move my little table a little bit. My drinks are in the way. Behold, the water glass. Fancy, I know. Ah. Come on. Oh, oh, cords. <laughs> I have cords freaking everywhere. It might be a problem. Maybe not. I'll say it's not. That way I don't have to fix it, right? T 
don't fix it if it's not broken. So if it's not broken, I don't have to fix it, right? And my cute little stickers to help me know where the border is. Honestly, it's just because I think they're cute and I found them. <laughs> yeah, rich streamer having money to afford water. I know. Absolutely crazy. Oh, and today I actually have coffee, so my table is correct. I got my my bottle of copium, or my canister of copium, my water, coffee, and of course the whale cream, and the pumpkin. Okay, so... I just realized I didn't even get my, my little reference images up. But... It's gonna be pretty simple. Just like tiny little succulents. They're basically gonna be flowers with very thick petals. Um, I'm not gonna put the images on screen unless you guys really want me to. Instead, I'll just kind of have them on my... on one of my other monitors. That I probably should have tilted towards me because it's a little awkward, but whatever. It's fine. Oh, uh, what tool? Oh, but just needle tool to start with. That's always a good one. Okay, so before stream, I did mix up a whole bunch of colors. I actually did this last week, but I just kind of took what we got. So basically just this blue. So the blue and this neon heck in yellow. Oh, it doesn't look as neon on screen. Interesting. It is very bright to me, though. Like, very, very bright. I might turn on my other lamp. It's getting a little dark in here already. Which is crazy. It should not be dark yet. So, anyway, I just mixed up these different colors. So we got, like, a kind of teal. Just a light blue. We just have some plain gray. Some light gray. Oh yeah, I was using the white as well, but... So, I figured these... These colors here, they should get us started. And I did make some little petals just to get started as well. So... Um, I probably should have done like an actual test succulent, but I didn't. So, we're just gonna get started. I hope you guys have been having a good day and had a good weekend. And it was very unusual for me to be streaming on a Monday. Feels a little weird. There we go. I mean, already just... Hey, look, you guys can actually see that this time. Amazing. Alright, I think I'll have to keep using this camera for... for future hand cams. Oh, wait. Not, not there. Ideally, when doing these rows, I'll have them in odd numbers. Because it just looks better. Bop, bop, bop. I guess I'm covering up chat a little bit. Mm, oh well. You guys can deal with it today. Ha ha ha! People won't... <laughs> People watching the VOD on YouTube won't be able to see. <laughs> Why is it past midnight? Oh my gosh. I thought it was 10 p.m. GMT. What time zone are you in, Hoimer? Skin those little, little tiny petals on there. So the idea is kind of to make like a little basket. So I made this one here to fit the, um, the tab key. So ideally we're going to kind of take the little succulents and like make a little basket. So 
I start two hours earlier than usual? Oh, no. I start two hours later than usual. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you did correct and say later. If he says EET, what time zone is EET? Oh, yeah, and here's my other keyboard. Woo! Fancy streamer, two keyboards. <laughs> e E T. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you're two hours ahead of UTC. Yeah. Which means that you are ten hours, I believe. Yeah, 10 hours ahead of me. Heck. What a world we live in. Be 10 hours away and yet still talking on the internet. Watching a streamer clumsily try to make a succulent. I think I need some smaller petals. I think this one might work well for like a starter. Well, Holly Murphy, you need to go to bed. Good night. I hope you have a good, well, a good sleep and a good day tomorrow. Let's see. And I'm sorry, I don't have music credits up. It's basically all stuff from Boy Purple. For the most part, I, I think he made some pretty good stuff. <laughs> so many times was for Flat Planet. Only for more confusion. Oh, Flo, honey. You know, it, it's so crazy how it's still light out here and then dark on your side of this flat planet, you know? Absolutely crazy. I don't know. I think time zones should exist. I think they serve a good purpose. Daylight savings, on the other hand, I think that should go away. We go. I think that's pretty cute. Just a tiny little guy. And then I think we'll leave a little bit of this green for something else. Maybe we can try making like a color var color variegated one. I think that's a good start. So we'll just have him sit over here by the pumpkin. And then maybe like a brighter green? Let's try a brighter green. You know, when I started these, I actually thought that the petals I was making were gonna be too big. I like, look at that. That's that's pretty tiny. We should be able to fit quite a few on there. Just roll on the out into a little log. I can't even see what song is playing. My windows are so messed up. I can't even find my mouse. Ah! Okay, right now it's Nocturnal Knoll. This one's quite nice. Okay. Well, hopefully the Wednesday stream starts at a better time for you, but now you go. It'll be at the usual time, so uh, 8 p.m. GMT, which means it'll be 10 p.m. for you. So, yes, it'll be at a better time for you, Hoimer. Anyway, good night. Thanks for dropping by. Chop this one up a little. Get a 
little nubbin. Nubbins are good for centers. I think I'll try making these like slightly bigger this time. And then like just gradually make them a little bit bigger. And just uh just keep going just a tiny bit bigger each time. I want to try making like a little cactus too. I think that'd be super cute. Well, even like that little spiral. I feel like maybe we could do something with that. But for right now, go into a tiny ball and squish. I love working in miniature. I think it's so much fun. It also lets me be more stingy with my with my resources. Because then I can make so many more things with just a tiny bit of clay. Alright, these ones are definitely not flattened at all, but that's okay. You know, I think this one's going to end up even smaller than the light green. Yeah, I find it out just so tiny, so small, so cute. Hello, autofocus, please. Okay, well, autofocus doesn't always work, but, you know, it's the thought. Um, so, unfortunately, the camera that I'm using this time, I do have to worry about the battery running out. Because although it is plugged in, it is plugged into my PC and is definitely eating up battery faster than it is recharging. So, we're going to see how long the stream can go, but obviously when the camera dies, the stream's over. It should be fine. It should be able to go for a well over an hour. Like, it should be able to do at least two. So, hopefully that'll give us enough time to at least do one keycap. I really need to give the little key key remover back to Owl. He let me borrow it so I could clean my keyboard. Need to plug into a charger instead of PC or are you using the only camera input? Um, so because of the program, I don't trust the connection over Wi-Fi to be stable enough for streaming. Um, so I basically have to have it plugged into my computer in order to, in order to get the video. So I can't have it directly in a charger. Something I want to get is a powered USB hub. Because I, I use so many USB ports, it's... It's ridiculous. But if I had a powered USB hub, then then I think something like this would work a little better. But, you know, no guarantee. Maybe then it would actually charge. See if any of these end up any bigger. Little bone, and then smoosh. Make it pointy again. Ah. So right now I'm actually using the USB cable I use for my drawing tablet for the phone, just because it's like I know this is a good USB cable. 
and all my other ones are slightly questionable sometimes. Yeah. Tiny little... Hmm, I definitely want to try making like some color variegated ones. So you don't get it. Does the camera have power input in the other input? Okay, so the camera, um, it's my old smartphone. And so the power input and, well, it only has one USB port. So it charges and outputs data through the same. So yeah, it's all just single port. Sorry, I guess I didn't explain that very well before. Okay. Almost have enough petals. Or leaves. Not a flower. So these are leaves. I oh, didn't get the smartphone part. Yeah, I think I just didn't explain that. I might have accidentally not said that part. I might have just been saying camera. Yeah, yeah, a little hard to charge and use at the same time. But oh well. It's definitely a much better quality than last time. <laughs> Even though it's still 720p, but I would have preferred 1080. But you work with what you got, so. And I don't really want to use my normal phone as a camera. Although, maybe that one would work better. Just because it does have a much better battery and camera. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to try that next time. Do we have a better ball this time? Uh -huh. Okay. It definitely got a lot larger. I probably should have made it fatter instead of longer, but... Just a little size comparison. Uh, does my PC have one of those charge ports? Um... I don't think so. I think they're all just normal USBs. You think those give off more energy? I'll have to look. Yeah, I'd have to look. I... I haven't seen one of those. Go. That one's a little fatter. have a little thunder sign next to the port. Yeah, um, the thing is, I would have to go behind my PC to look. I haven't... I never noticed one of those. Um, I have a relatively old PC. So, I don't know if it was standard for those when I got my case. Yeah, I just have to check after stream. I won't be unplugging this during. Okay. 
This should be a good size variation, I think. Just really quick, I do want to try... Let's take just a little bit of this darker green. With just a tiny, tiny smidgen of the light green. Not much, just a tiny little bit. Just stick it right on top. Just smush them into each other a tiny little bit. Roll it around. And then pinch the lighter end. Try and get like a slightly color variegated. I kind of want them to blend like a little bit into each other. Okay, well, it kind of worked. Come on, focus. Right here. Okay, there we go. So you can kind of see it like that little stripe of light green. Please, camera. Camera. No, I think it's trying to focus on the stickers. Oh well. So it, it kind of worked. Yeah, it kind of worked. Okay. Let's just build... Let's just build the next succulent. Ah! Come here! Ah! Okay, there we go. Got the first two. Hardest part, right? Uh, the little touches are what makes the difference, and you weren't putting the leaf in the center of the camera, so it wasn't focusing right. Uh, and maybe that was it. I know I have to keep reminding myself to work further away from my body than I normally do. Just because of where the camera is. Let's take this one. Well, I do think after after it's all baked, I could probably come back and paint these slightly. I do have a ton of acrylic paints, so I could probably water them down a little bit. I think that would work quite well. Back here. I do want to experiment a bit more with the color variegated stuff. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny and cute. I kind of want to keep it just like that. I kind of want to. Okay. Okay, you know what? This one, this one's staying tiny. It'll be one of the little filler guys. Although it would be an absolute pain to try and paint these. Just because they are so tiny. Start this one slightly bigger. Now imagine a force model with a ton of those. That'd be amazing. Don't tempt me. Do not tempt me. Honestly, at that point, I'd probably just buy some green clay <laughs> because I didn't mix all these colors myself. It kind of took a while. But, you know, you make do with what you got, right? Come on. Okay. 
No, this should go on the opposite side. Just, I love these little tiny ones. They're just so cute. Please. Ah! A drop touch. Maybe I should get rid of the unhinged tag. I thought it was going to be more unhinged today, but... Maybe I'll replace it with a calm tag. Buy it? You sure you can mix more and always get the exact same color? I know I put too many quotes on there, but... Eh. That, that sounds like pain. Flo, are you trying to pain me? Because that's how you get pain. That is the path to insanity. Oh, so cute. You never. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sure, Flo. Sure. So I've been reading, I've been reading the Lobotomy Corp um, comic. I'm trying to remember what's actually called, but I can't remember the name of it right now. But I got to the point where, where the lights, the three days of um, white nights has begun. And I know, Flo, it was you who mentioned to not not go past that for spoiler reasons, right? I'm very tempted to, though. I was just like, I'm so close to the end. I have less than a hundred pages. And since it's a comic, they go so fast. Ah! Keep dropping my leaves. Succulent keycaps, yes, succulent keycaps. Yes, yes, Harles Quinn. Oh, you got new succulents? I love succulents so much. I mean, that's why I'm making these. Even though my keycaps are in no way, shape, or form like proper keycaps. But they will still be on my keyboard, so I'm calling them keycaps. Also, uh, what kind of seconds do you have? You killed all of yourself last winter. No! You were on your own instead of being given useless. You want that? I have so many succulents. I even have a volunteer cactus and he's the cutest heckin' thing. So I just, I have a succulent. I don't even know what kind it is. I just accumulate plants. But I have this little succulent guy. He's kind of viney. So he's like kind of viney and he has like all these little small, small leaves. And then just in the middle of the pot, there's just this tiny, super thin little cactus just growing right up. He's adorable. I've had him for a few years now. He's still tiny, but I love him. You accidentally also ordered a two inch, like a very blue fairy instead of a four inch? 
I don't know what those are. We also got a Christmas aloe, not so Christmassy right now, but it's a baby and a, a rainbow cactus. That sounds absolutely adorable. I I feel like I need to look up what all of those look like. Oh no, all those leaves ended up in the same spot. No. It's okay. I can I can move them to the side. It is fine. Just gently coax the clay. Make it look natural. There we go. I shouldn't be too pokey to put my fingers on. The link you sent for... Wait, what? The link I sent for you to see. You can see everything. I believe that there is no problem. At least I saw and don't saw anything that ruined your library for my experience. Okay, so I can read the end of the comic. Awesome. Excellent. I will do that then. Because I could definitely tell that the comic was written after Library of Ruin came out. Alright, I'm gonna flatten this bottom a little bit so he can stand. Just, just flatten it just a tiny little bit. And then he goes over here by the others. Ah! Okay, well, never mind. He's not standing up. It's okay. Alright, I think he'll be a great little centerpiece for the tab key. Why do I think it was after? Um, I said I think it was written after Library of Ruin that came out. Not that the story took place after. Just because there are definitely events in that story. And like details about the city that you just don't get until Library of Ruin up. I'm taking some more yellow and some more blue. I probably don't need to make a new color. I want to try making some variegated ones. But, well, we'll just make a new color. It'll be fine. And just a bit of yellow. Smush him out. And this will be a pretty saturated one unless we add a little brown or gray. Because we could add a little brown just to make it darker. You don't see what details I'm talking about, but maybe you just don't remember well. Um, It was like just just kind of in general. From what you remember, there were no special details that were confirmed in Library of Ruina. It's kind of like just how how the city feels. And like talking about the smoke war and stuff. It just really has the vibe that was written after Library of Ruina came out. Okay, let's add a little brown. Not a lot, just just a tiny little bit. Try to desaturate this a little. Okay. I definitely got some good screenshots from the comic though. Especially in the later chapters, there's some really pretty art. It's very stylized. There we go. This is becoming a pretty good green. It's possible, you know, there's another but more light novel, you think, because it's only written 
this one 100% gives us spoilers for Library of Ruina. Yeah, but how late of spoilers. There we go. I think that's a pretty good green. A nice darker green. Slightly different from all the others. Shocking! Okay, so I'm going to flatten this out a bit. Actually, I want it to be a little longer first. You don't know, you didn't want to find out. Decide only after finishing the library. I think I might just go ahead and finish reading the comic tonight, though. Just because I don't want to leave another unfinished comic open on my phone. And I'm already invested. What happened to Rose was a travesty. She didn't deserve that. Precious cinnamon roll Rose. I really feel like the abnormalities that they made for the comic are just a lot worse. Just like a lot worse than the abnormalities in Love Corp. Like, oh yeah, here just have one where the person we're working with is guaranteed to die a horrible death. It's like, oh great, thanks. Like, there's only a few in Lob Corp with that, and they're all tools. Hmm. Okay, I think I... I think I made this one too, then. Well... Yeah, yeah, okay. We'll squish it and kind of... fold out again. Worse, you sure? Really think how much of a nightmare some you had would be? Oh, I know some of them would be absolutely horrible. I'm just thinking about the rose. Like, that rose was freaking awful. And then also, like, just think about how horrible it would be to try and deal with that little red and wolf ab aberration. We'll call them aberrations. Because they are different. But like, oh yeah, you know, just as you're working with one of them, the other one's just gonna be breaking out. Same machine puppy that dang teth flowered. The need range people to kill or one shot them. I mean by puppy, are you just referring to Popido. Because I feel like he's not too bad. <sighs> I, don't know, I just really feel like the rose is one of those where it's like, oh yeah, just as soon as you're told to work with this, like, you're dead. That's it. You don't get any other chance. Let's see, what color should we put in the middle here? A lighter... Like the more yellowy green? I think the more yellowy. I think that would look better. Is that the same? That's the same. Okay. I did really I really like the way that they portrayed Rose like dealing with her new assignment though with the Rose. Um just because it was very much like well, I'm going to die and so she's she's very much acting like somebody who's about to die like, "Oh, I had these cookies stashed." in stasis since I was 12 years old. Would you like to share these with me? It's like, 
crap. She's gonna die. She's just finishing up all her business. It's just... Ah, it was freaking heartbreaking. I, I may have read that one this morning. Or last night. They blended together a little bit. I think I read it this morning. I, I may have a reading addiction. It's fine. Okay. So now that we have this, there's a little log. They did a great job on the characters feel alive with shown personalities. Yeah, they really did. Okay, let's go for slightly larger ones. Let's just test it with this. Alright, pinch one end, round the other, squish it out. Uh, okay, now I'm really seeing a lot of that. The other color must really just be on the inside. Like, you can see it on the tip, but that's about it. And on the bottom, but... I want Ty to survive the comic. I'm also terrified of that Oberon and Titania Aleph duo getting out. I feel like it might have just been a one-off thing, but I'm scared that they'll come back and kill our girl. Okay, well, it's really thin. I can slightly start to see. I can slightly start to see the color in there. I don't think it'll show up on camera. I like the magical girls. Um, I felt like Wrath was a little weird. Yeah. Okay, this time I'm trying to turn it into a full on ball first. And then I'm going to shape it the way I did. It's just not really showing. Hmm. Might need to like split it open. Unfortunately, this knife is like super dull. And just because they did spend so much time on Wrath, that was just kind of the focus. There we go. After splitting it open, I think it looks pretty neat. So it's basically like just some very light, some light green poking through. Okay. I could try that. The last room of Wrath was stuck on Horse Story. I mean, yeah? It also really seems like if you get an EGO gift from any of those, you're kind of screwed. Which is very unfortunate. Because definitely, like, gifts were very nice to have in original Lobcorp. And then for them to kind of turn them into like, oh yeah, if you get a gift, you're basically just like marked by... You're marked by the abnormality. Congrats, you're probably gonna die. Alright. Peel it open a little bit. Hmm. 
Well, these leaves are definitely taking longer to make, but hopefully they'll look cool to make up for it. It's not 100% screwed. You only need to know how. You only need to know how to control who works with it. Eh. I don't know. I'm just thinking of like when Cat was given the gift to that um, the mermaid one. And it basically just tried to kill her immediately after, and it's like, what the heck? I think that'd be awful. Remember Prince Fungus, if he sent the same many times, it would be Fungus Panic. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this one's just not... It's just kind of marbled. I don't think we'll use this one. I'll probably end up just smushing it together for a new color. There you go. I think you can kind of see it like that. Okay. Smush, smush. Maybe I can use it eh, for something else. No, I just squished one of the other petals. Well, that sucks. the same same thing looking shiny are they I meant they're not looking shiny to me per se but until break. And yes, I am using the same music for today as I do for the other screens because I have it on my PC and I like it. <laughs> one's Puddle World. It is Puddle World. I usually have this one for the ending screen. Okay, well this one's not great. The lighter color ended up being more in the middle. I don't well. make a few more of these before it's break time. Maybe. I've never been good at working fast. Cut it open. <laughs> oh no, did I even hit the yellow? Okay, I did. Just barely. At least because it's clay, I can always just squish it back out. Okay. That's not too bad. It's got a, a little nubbin at the top of color. Come well on. Okay, well, it's not really showing too well, but...
Maybe it'll still work? to kind of go for like a little whisker wicker basket thing so so basically once we have enough succulents made I'm gonna kind of put them on the brown and then use this little coil here to try and make it look like a little basket okay well it is time for our three minute break so Get up, get a drink, use the restroom, do whatever you need to do, and I'm probably gonna chug water. And I'll see you guys again in three minutes. Oh, my model's freaking out. And we're back. Hello, music. Hello. Okay. I'm definitely enjoying this off-brand, um, off-brand Animal Crossing music for today. Up, up, up. I feel like it just fits the theme very nicely. Oh, this one feels really nice. Look at that little bean. Little bean. Okay, well, I guess I didn't really show very well, but that's okay. 
squish it down a little bit. One day I'll get a nice, like, actual webcam for this. I wonder if a GoPro would be worth it. I haven't priced them. They seem expensive, though. Um. I did... Oh. Did I? Okay, yeah, yeah. I did... I did get a setup. Um, so I did add the stream stickers extension, so if you guys want to put like, say little stickers that play sound effects on stream, you can. Um, I'm definitely not expecting anybody to use them. I mean, if, if you did, it'd be nice. It would help me fund the stream stuff. That is, that is where the proceeds would go. Like, upgrading my PC so that it's not quite as potato. And like, getting, getting new cameras and microphones and... And you know. I mean, I did already buy those, but you know. Well, not the new camera. And like, stream software, because unfortunately not everything is free. I try to use as much free software as I can, but, you know. Sometimes you just gotta dish out money. It sucks. But anyway. It's just an option. It is pretty fun just cutting these open. Ah, no! I opened you. Do not close. Ah! Okay, maybe I'll pull that one down a little bit just to get a little bit more... a little bit more color on the tip. Okay, well this one's a little awkward, but oh well. He's he's just a long boy. Okay, and this one's got some brown on it. Hopefully it'll be fine. Yeah, I can just ignore it. You're like brown? What brown? There's there's no brown here. Just hide it on the back. Well, this one's kind of cute. Why do I think some bells are cuter than others? I don't know. It's not bad. It's not wanting to focus, but oh well. Come on. Oh well. I feel like my nails look really bright on camera. Ooh. Maybe I should have just gone with full copper. But I wanted the orange. It feels more autumn-y. And what's really fun is that they're glow in the dark. I can, I think glow in the dark stuff is so much fun. I just have this little glow in the dark top coat that I can put on basically anything. Or pumpkin feel, yeah, kind of. It's all autumn-y. Spooky season will not die yet. Ha ha ha. 
even if I know Christmas songs are just right around the corner. <laughs> it always feels like it comes too early. Let's fold this one down. Try and get a little bit more of the light. There we go, this one's the break song. Although I guess probably some of you are really sick of hearing this one, so I can skip it. Although then there are others of you who never actually get to hear the song. You know what? I'll, I'll just let it play this time. Glow in the dark is great, especially in a room full of people and the lights go out. Everyone stares at the glowing person. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Unfortunately, they do. They don't really hold their charge for too long. And it does have to be under a pretty bright light in order to like properly charge. It's still fun. I mean, you can also charge it like just from a phone flashlight. So that's very often what I do. It's nice that it doesn't have to be sunlight. Okay, this one's pretty tiny. That's okay. We need some tiny ones. Some more small ones, huh? I feel like we have enough larger ones. So let's go for, go for some tiny boys. Oh gosh, I don't even know if I'll be able to cut this one open. Okay, well, it's kind of working. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that worked. More or less. Not perfect, but pretty good. Also part of the reason why I use this song for my break screen, or the ad screen, is because I have to listen to it a lot too. <laughs> and I like this one, so... Uh, the main thing is that when I'm listening to it, it's usually overlaid on top of like whatever other audio is going on at the time. So like, if it's Library of Ruina, then, then it's the song, and then also like, whatever the music is doing in the background. It can sound really, really weird and really bad. It's just funny. So a lot of times I just end up taking my headphones off during the screen. Why torture myself, right? This one's called Mirth. Ah! Slice it right down the middle. Maybe I could find a razor blade. That'd be a really nice sharp knife for this. Other thing, and I don't know if I really need a sharp knife. Oh, hey, 
there's a tiny air bubble in there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like just that tiny little dark dot. So the camera? No? Eh, no. It doesn't want to focus on it. Oh well. Don't you like mixes a complete... Oh, completely different music so you never know what hidden gems you can find. I mean, I like listening to new music. Uh, the only thing is that on stream, I have a hard time doing that. Just because I want... I want the music that I play on stream to be the same as the music in the VOD. And so I have to be really careful about copyright stuff. Otherwise it'll either get muted or I'll get a copyright strike. So I pretty much have to do all the searching ahead of time. And unfortunately copyright and royalty free stuff is often just a lot lower quality. And I'll basically just find stuff and be like, hey, this sounds pretty good. I'll just use this for the next year. Little trick focus, but the other hand open behind. So it is forced to focus at that distance. I will try that next time. We have enough. I think it still needs more small ones. I'm thinking maybe... Maybe from this end. It's like I have one really tiny one, just of like the light green. And then another one of like mostly light green with a little dark. I want some really tiny ones that are a little bit of a mix. It's not too bad. Like it was focusing a little better, but still not great. Okay, and this was just ah, gonna be a little cone. Not even gonna squish that one. Holding this one up so that the light part is on the tip. There we go. Okay. Just a few more. And then we can try putting this little guy together. I am a little worried about using succulents as keycaps just because I don't I don't want to accidentally murder them by hitting them wrong. I just don't want to put so much effort into these little guys and then accidentally kill them. Honestly, I think making custom keycaps is probably like the biggest motivation for me to get like a mechanical keyboard. Because right now I just have a really cheap one. I mean, it's not a really cheap one. Honestly, it served me really well. But it is... it is old. <laughs> And the keys are very much wearing out, um, where I use them a lot.
And so I do eventually want to get a new keyboard. It is very low on the priority list, but you know, it's, it's still there. This was just a little piercing. You prefer cheap keyboard? You may hit the keys a little too hard sometimes. Oh no! Poor keyboard! You're not supposed to hit your keyboard. You have to be nice to it. Back to my intro song. Yay! <laughs> hmm, my face tracking is a little weird today. It's not really doing smiles very well. Yeah. It's more doing an O shape when I'm trying to smile. Oh well. It's fine. Not that big a deal. I kind of love how it looks like veining. Just a little bit. Okay, and Flo, that hand trick is definitely working a lot better. So thank you. looking forward to Wednesday. I can't remember if I... Did I actually put it down? Okay, I did. Um, turn up boy commits tax evasion. It should still be free on the Epic Games Store right now. I'm not a show for that store, not by any means. I will never spend money on it. However, I will happily take their free games and encourage other people to do the same. Also, bop, bop, bop. I'm sorry, I slightly missed it. Ah, oh, it's so tiny. So tiny and cute. Hi, luck. And yes, free is good. Free is best price. Anyway, ah! On Wednesday, we're gonna be playing that one. So, it is one I've had my eye on for a while. And I'm very excited to try it. I also really need to find time to play Outer Wilds. And I also just got Psychonauts 2, which I am heckin' excited for. Did I install it yet? I don't know if I even installed it yet. I need to double check that. But I very, very much want to play both of those. I just need to find the right time for it. Honestly, we might... It's like Baldur's Gate is good, but it also just takes heckin' forever to get anywhere in that game. So, I don't know. Okay, Flo, enjoy, enjoy lurking. Yeah, I'm sure I'll love Outer Wilds too. Like everything I've seen about it seems so good. I've tried so hard to avoid spoilers though. Like even when my Oshi was playing it, like I tried I had to avoid those streams because I was like, I want to experience it myself. Ah, I'm back.
Okay, I'm I'm kind of loving how this is looking. Just with the little stripies. <gasps> Get your cats. You know how to open doors. one a little smaller. I don't want to make it too big. Ah. Don't fall. Oh, come, come here. Come here. Kind of thinking that maybe on Wednesdays they'll be more for like medium length games, and then I'll just have to figure out something else for Baldur's Gate. Just because the Library of Ruin it is already gonna be very long. Uh, just just because of who I am. Just like how Lob Corp took so heckin' long to get through. Okay, you know what? I think we're gonna leave this little guy just like this. I think he is precious. I'm tempted to kind of pinch off that little longer bit, but at the same time, it makes him look more like a real plant. So maybe he should stay. I think he's pretty good. Rule of three and all that. Oh my gosh, next to the others, he looks so dynamic. Like, just his colors. Let's see, that's probably enough for Tab. And then maybe we can make some more, like, super tiny ones. Or maybe use these extra leaves. But I guess I can't really see the needle tool very well, huh? In a little. Oh well. Actually, how well can you see it? Uh, eh, slightly. Maybe it'd work better if I pointed with this end. Yeah, I think that's a little better. So maybe, maybe we could try using like these ones for decorating the outside of the basket. Or maybe, maybe these. Just because we do have those extras. There are still all these other colors too. So, we definitely got options. Okay, I think it's time to start trying to build the basket though. So, just to, just to demonstrate. Oh wait, no, this was the escape key. I didn't make one for tab, I made one for escape. So this is going to be tiny, so it is basically the size of the escape key. That is that is the plan. And I, I put like little edging things on the sides to try and make it look a bit more basket-like. And the tape is there on the bottom just to kind of keep it flat. That was the intent. Although it's not very flat. Oh wait, no, no, no. No, this is the bottom. Oh wait, no, no. Okay. So this is the bottom. Um, it's a little weird because I am doing all of this just off the cuff. I'm not really planning anything. Um, but... So the plan is for this to be the bottom and then this little plastic guy it's going to stick right into it in the middle. So it'll be kind of like that. And then I haven't decided if I'll glue it on or I'll probably just glue it on. 
I kind of want to bake the polymer clay separately and then attach it to the little plastic insert just because then I don't have to worry about the uh, PLA warping in the oven, which I'm a little concerned about. Um, PLA does melt at a higher temperature than the clay bakes at, but it's still a little iffy. Um, I have I, I have seen PLA melt in a car before, so I mean, it was a hot summer day in the front windshield on a black dashboard, but still, I don't want to risk it. <laughs> okay. You, maybe we'll have like two, two big guys on here. Yeah, so I think we'll go with these two big guys. So they'll be kind of like that. They'll be poking out the top, but that's okay. Um, it is a very, very, very tall piece of plastic that I'm probably going to cut down anyway because it sticks out of the keyboard a lot taller than any of the other keys on there. So we got room. We got room to work. All right, I think I'm going to just chop off the bottom here just to give us a nice flat surface to attach it to. <laughs> Murder! Murder! Okay. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, well, I did bend a pedal. That is to be expected. I'm expecting more casualties by the end of it. Okay, I think we'll just use the needle tool and just lightly press it in. The place to kind of cover up the bottom part anyway, so it should be okay. And then we can add in more of the tiny little guys that we made earlier too. Gently press it in. Trying to be careful not to warp it too much. I know it's silly, but I like how much this sounds like a KK song. Or a KK slider song. If I could get away with it, I would absolutely just play like KK slider music. All stream. So there's one attached. This is probably going to be my favorite succulent from today. Oh my gosh, camera's already down to 67%. Okay, well, when it gets really low, that's when I'll panic. But it's fine. It's fine for now. I would try to say the name of the song, but it is... Can I copy it? No. No, I can't. It's... it's kind of an incredible name. <laughs> Here, let me just find it. I also love the name of this album. It's Creature Interchange. I, I'm pretty sure it's a boy purple one. I just, I love it. I think it's so cute. I'm just copying the name. Okay. Nah. I guess I should probably type song name. Uh, song name. I 
It's like very similar. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's a heckin' crazy word. Or wait, I, I didn't lean out of the way quite far enough. I don't think I can lean out of the way far enough. Oh well. It's just an incredible name. Okay, and then with this one again, cutting up the bottom. I'm trying to make this one a little bit more round, so I'm kind of spinning it around the knife. And then slicing off the bottom. So that got us a, a fairly clean cut. Just gonna take the needle tool again, press it into a side. We'll be blending it out anyway, so the puncture wound won't matter. I'm just gonna press him right into the other guy. Then just taking the needle tool and pressing in to blend. There we go. Just try and get that nice and attached. It'd be very sad if they fell off. Nothing on the pumpkin or the other little creatures. Never made last hand cam fell off, so should be okay with these. Just gotta make sure I blend them in well enough, right? side. You can see it's kind of lifting up. But that's okay. So we're just gonna force it back down. The clay is nice and soft so it's very easy to do. There's a way to attach these without without really blending them in. I'm definitely no Sculpey clay expert. Or polymer clay, I guess is the actual term. Yeah, I really like the dynamic between one of them being flat colors and the other one being like being the stripey. I really like that. All right. Let's get let's get some tiny little guys made and put in there. And then we can put the little border on. Cuz we do have We've got two tiny boys so far. So we've got this like really bright green. I'm kind of thinking that should probably use... Well, actually, he could go well right there. That would work. And then we'll use other colors for... for the other areas. I think that does work, because then he kind of looks like a little offshoot of the big guy. I think that's good. How's our time looking? Alright, we've got 20 minutes. There we go. Alright. 
I think he's looking pretty heckin' cute so far. Alright, I think I'm gonna cut the bottom off of this guy a little bit. But first, let's find a spot for him. So I'm, again, I'm just poking the needle tool into the base. So it's a very clean and easy spot to hold him from. Yeah, I think if I cut him down, he could fit right in that corner pretty well. I think that would fill it out pretty nicely. The alternative is on the opposite corner, which would also work. Maybe we'll just make another one kind of like him. Or we can make one of a different color. But for now, I'm just gonna take him, just slice the bottom right off. And I still need to make a base for the tab key. But given my phone battery, I don't know if we're going to have enough time for that. Um, I am using a smartphone as a camera today, and unfortunately, it does not like to charge while being used for this. So once the, once the battery is over, then stream ends. <laughs> Price we pay for quality. I mean, quality. Ah, I poked it. Oh well. It'll be fine. Probably. It'll be fine. Even if it won't be, it'll be fine. Alright, two of my other favorite tools. I really like this one for blending. Um, it's just like this nice rounded bit. Super nice. star to me. I like that star vibe. Gosh, I'm gonna be so afraid of breaking this one. Go to hit escape. Oh no, maybe it'll be okay. I mean, right now they're soft and squishy, but... Yep, so just size comparison. So there's the escape key versus the succulents. And it's just a very normal size escape key. I feel like my hands kind of look giant while working with these minis. Oh, here we go. Here's another size comparison. Here's a small pumpkin from last time. The rose is still the smallest thing we've made yet, but, you know. I still think he's very cute. Okay, and... Just a few, like, super tiny. I think just a few super tiny succulents to bulk it out. Or just more leaves, but I want... I want full-on succulents. I think those are just more fun. We could bring in some silver. Nah, I don't think it would look quite right. I think maybe just... We could use... Could use the darker one for this corner. 
but I kind of think that we should probably stick to using like the colors that are already here. So like this dark green for another tiny one in this corner. And then the lighter yellow, yellowish green for this side. I think that would be good. Not to use too many colors and kind of oversaturate the palette. Okay, well we definitely have a few of the like yellowish green. And then I did kind of use all of the darker green for these stripy ones. But I think that's okay. We'll just turn these into more like super tiny petals. So just bitty bitty. It'd be a little guys. Just the smallest. The smallest of boys. You know, maybe, maybe if I do another like super tiny one, I'll get like a magnifying glass and then work under that so you guys can see better. Although so much time is just spent between my fingers, so I don't know how much you'd really be able to see anyway. But anyway, nibbin. <laughs> it probably looks about the same, huh? After I cut it to uh, when I call it a leaf. it out again. I think for the next one I should try like different colors of succulents. I think that'd be fun. Okay. Oh, that one's a little bigger. Too big for these nubbins? Should I make them even smaller? Make them the tiniest? Just the tiniest succulents possible? So small that they barely even count as sculpture? small. Come on. Okay, it's not really showing. That's okay though. Ah. I'm excited. My friend Sefi's gonna be trying her first hand cam here soon. She's also going to be using a phone as a camera. I heard- I really hope her battery lasts better than mine is. I'm, I might just have to try using my, like, my actual phone, not just my old one. It'd probably work a lot better. Uh, the one that I'm currently using as this camera, it's a Motorola G5 Plus. It's old. It's, it's quite old. And I got, like... I don't even remember like what model it actually is, but it's some sort of pixel phone. Which is the one I currently use. Part of the reason I got that was because it was supposed to have a really good camera. Like, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. But it's not quite as good for like really, really close-up stuff as I was hoping. Probably work better for this though. Is it weird that I, that I have a lot easier time shilling out money for like physical objects than for software? 
Like, I still have not bought VTube Studio. <laughs> the watermark is technically here. Technically. You guys will never see it. Because I tried very hard to hide it. <laughs> I'm trying to look smug, but it's not really working. Maybe I should recalibrate. slightly better now oh yeah yeah it's definitely better now ha 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 okay that's probably enough for like a succulent right a tiny boy than the other by quite a lot. The two middle ones need to be really well connected. They are the core. Okay, I might have to run the other light. I was trying to avoid it because it's a very yellow light. I probably need to replace the bulb. But at the same time, I like having the yellow light because then I feel like it makes me sleepier at night. But for lighting in here, I feel like, at least for hand game stuff, I think I should probably go for something a bit more white and brighter. It's like the overhead, the overhead light does some, but you know, it can only do so much. Like an aloe plants. My poor aloe, he's not doing very well. I kinda I kinda murdered him. Who neglect? I'm not very good at taking care of some plants. Like all of my plants that are still alive are all very, very hardy. They will go through so much abuse and neglect. and then somehow come out alive at the end. Oh, come on. Please, please. It's getting a stem. If you ignore the stem, it looks okay. Please. Maybe this one? Instead of adding the last two petals, I think I'll call this good, just as is. I think it's a little awkward, but he should be pretty good for filling out space. Even though he's a little, like, larger lengthwise. I think that'll be pretty good. So... Let's figure out where he's gonna go. Stab him onto the 
onto the needle tool again. I think I'll just read in here. Just read in this corner. And then we'll make a lighter one for the other side. Yeah, I think I need to draw on the light. Just getting a little bit too dark in here. Oh, my foot's going, going to sleep. Ah. That's what I get for sitting on my legs. We're sitting on my feet. Crisscross, crisscross applesauce. Ah. Uh, yeah, see how much like more yellow it is now? Yeah, it's unfortunate, but oh well. Mm. Ah, delicious water. Tasty, tasty water. Kick in my trash can, nothing to worry about. Alright, I'm not even gonna bother cutting, I'm just smushing this one apart. And getting clay all over my fingers. I mean, I like wasn't already there, but you know. Okay, and just right in there. Oh yeah, that is super cute. I think that is fantastic. I think he just really helps fill it out. Uh -oh. Squish! Squish in there! I'd be very sad if these fall off. Or fall out. They're pokey too, so... I can't like just squish them down with my finger. I gotta like grab the side and smush it in that way. There we go. I think that's pretty good. So we have a little bit of room on this side. And then another corner over here. I'm thinking a very yellow one for this corner. Well, a very yellow one. So probably this. Or this color. A more yellowy green. <laughs> hmm, could I try making this one like more of a fat guy? Like a bit more round. Uh oh, hair. Here's the enemy. the cat hair. My cat did try to walk across these. That was unfortunate. Not today, but I just had it all sitting out. You know, maybe we actually will get to working on the top key. At the very least, I think we can get started on the succulents for it. Just gonna chop this one. Try and get some more small little guys. And at least if I do make the succulents more ahead of time for the tab key. Um, then they'll have more time to like cool down and harden up before um, before I go to put them on the base. So then hopefully they'll kind of hold their shape a bit better.
All right, so I kind of have like this little reference image up where they're like these... I mean, they're still succulents, but they're like more ball shaped and like very flat. And I kind of want to try one of those. Maybe if I was thinking more ahead, I would have made one for like the middle of each key. But I wasn't, so here we are. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing stopping me from just, you know, making multiples. So I think I'm just gonna like barely flatten these and make them more into discs rather than petals. I think I'll leave this, this one tiny little orb. Oh. Yeah, just gonna leave this tiny little orb as, as the center. So that'll be that guy. Or actually, this one's smaller. Maybe we'll, we'll use him. Ah! Petals. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Oh, okay. Um, It is time for our three minute break. So get up, get a drink, use the restroom, do whatever you need to do. And I will see you guys again in three minutes as soon as the ad decides to start. I'm gonna go get more water because I think I really need that. Funny how that works. Hmm. I have a fail and need more petals. More petals needed. I mean, totally not petals. Oh, you know what? Oh, I'm sorry, kind of the right shape. I'll just leave it. Oh, okay, started.
pop, 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 pop. And we're back. So, during the break, I was staring at my tools and I was thinking of just using the ball tool to like slightly shape these ahead of time. And then like peel them off. Eh. Okay, well, maybe that won't work. I was just thinking like something to kind of make it a bit more well, shaped. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna work. Mm, maybe for a different one. I think for this one, just thicker. Just thicker little plates. Should be okay. I'll round this one's corners at least. Okay, basically just turned it back into a ball. This is fine. Okay. I feel like any more would probably overload this. So I'm also just gonna kind of like move these petals a little bit to the side. Just so that this one has a bit more room over on this corner. And then I think after we put this guy on, um, it will then be time for, for the rope. Or the border. The basket. The basket! There we go. I have no idea which one's the smallest. Uh, this one? Maybe? Mm, no, I need cut in half. It needs cut in half. It's too big. Big. Squish it down. I think that will give us more of the shape we're looking for. I think. Okay, I think ovals are going to work a little bit better than circles. So I'm just turning them into like tiny little logs first. Oh my gosh, I don't think you can see that. maybe? They're like little sprinkles. Little clay sprinkles. Do not eat these. They would not be good to eat. Adorable, yes. Good to eat? Probably not. Okay. And then... Oh yeah, that worked way better. There we go. Here's our first little guy. It's looking like a little bean. It's a lot flatter this time, not pokey. Ah. Off. Off the plastic, please. Um, this is wax paper I'm working on just because I did not want this directly on my desk. And I figured wax paper was probably going to be my best bet. It's a little eyeball! I do not think that is very visible. Eyeball. Eyeball. Or like a pea. Yeah, it's, it's something like that. Okay, I think I'm gonna end up just cutting all of these into half. ovals. I feel 
feel like this song is a bit of a brain worm. to go out for hot pot the other day it was good it was a little awkward I went with my family and they never they never had or done hot pot before um Owl and I we've done it once before and that was just when we were just doing it at home it's a little camping stove in the living room it was fun it was nice I think I actually preferred doing it at home rather than going to a restaurant. It's mostly just because the restaurant that we went to, it was... It was so expensive. The prices were terrifying. We got tofu as one of our protein choices. So we got like beef, pork, chicken, and tofu for our four proteins. And for the tofu... It was, I think it was like $4. And then it was just for like six, just like six small chunks. Like, they weren't the smallest of chunks, but like, they were just like a few cubes of tofu. It was like, what the heck? Like, we paid more for those tiny little six chunks than an entire package of just pre-cut would be. It's like... Just... Yeah. It was definitely less than half a package. Ugh. It, it felt... Felt bad, man. <laughs> Uh, I definitely want to do hot pot again, but it's one of those things I very much want to do, like, at home. Me and then Ella and I, we took home the broth leftovers because there were some. And it was absolutely delicious as soup. We added more beef to it. We found, like, some pre-cut beef cubes. Or, like, steak cubes. And, honestly, they were better before before we boiled them. We did commit a little bit of a crime there. It was still good. Like, the flavor was still excellent. But... But they were better before becoming soup. And then we added an entire package of tofu. Because we could. And I think Owl still has some. So he can have that for dinner tonight. Okay. I think this little succulent's turning out pretty good so far. I think this is probably the next smallest. I am kind of purposefully not covering up this side yet. Stop some fire! Um, it, it was, it was tiny little steak cubes, okay? Okay, because, because we were making soup, okay? We, we had an excuse. It's fine. They were, they were better before, before the liquid was added. We both agreed on that. The texture was a lot better. So I think next time we will probably like sear the steak in the pot and then probably just like add the broth. Well, sear the steak, take it out, remove the broth. I <laughs> remove the broth. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. 
add the broth and just like scrape up the fond into the broth and just let it flavor it that way. It's slightly better, but still food crime. I'm sorry. I'll do better next time, okay? Okay, but here's our here's our little guy. He's a little hard to see still, but you know. Please. Camera, please. Cutie, yay! He's gonna go right in this corner. I don't think he's quite big enough yet. I think he needs a few more little petals. But then he'll be shoved right in there. So just a few more. It's like a little cabbage. This is now Cabbage Boy. Uh, how about this one? stick into my finger. Okay. Gosh, he feels so fragile. I wonder what happens when you overbake this kind of clay. Like, does it melt? Does it burn? I don't know. Just because these are so tiny, I don't think they take very long to bake at all. I don't really want to overdo it. <laughs> Melted cabbage, that also sounds like a food cry. <laughs> How would you even melt cabbage? That would definitely be a food crime. Like, melting cabbage. I mean, I guess it kind of gets... Sure, you can find a way. Uh, I'm not so... I'm not so confident in that. Here we go. It almost looks like a tiny green rose. I think that's the best I can get. All right, let's see if we can get him in here now. Stab him in the butt. Okay. Never mind. I'll just have to shove him in there. That's pretty good. Looks great, thank you. Let's get more in the middle of the camera. I think that works. He's pretty different from the others, but I think that's okay. A little bit afraid he's not bad. You might need like a little dot underneath him though just to have a place to sit so let's try ah got more petals on me let's just try making actually maybe just like kind of 
thinner thinner petal. So I'll just take this one and just like kind of shove it underneath. Just so we get something to sit on. That's not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna, just gonna take him off temporarily unless he's already stuck on. No, he's not. Okay. So I'm just gonna blend this one in. And I think I'll make another petal for the other side. Or actually, we already have these. I'll just set these in. Just build it up. And then just this guy right here. Ball tool. Okay, I do think it still needs like a little nub back here. Or a little nub right back here in order to keep him elevated. So just take a chunk off one of these. Maybe. Okay. Stick it right in there. Bring the ball tool again and just kind of work it down a little bit. I guess you guys can actually see. Here we go. <laughs> it's a bad that I kind of like the flat better. <laughs> slightly out of the way just so I can press him in okay he's in there I just need to blend him in make sure he stays And then maybe if I can fold this up. Oh, no, I don't think it's coming up. No. I might have to put another... That's just the tool I had. I might have to put another pedal in here. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Come on, up, 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 up. We got it. Okay, it's got a little brown on it now, but hopefully that'll get covered up by the border. Just gently trying to lift these edges up. So it all looks more like part of the cohesive whole. Just 
a little flared out. Okay, at this point I'm just trying to flare out like the other petals a little bit. with polymer clay I can just kind of keep working with it until I'm happy and nothing really bad seems to happen if I overwork it very nice very nice little feature uh oh okay so unfortunately as I've been holding it it is it is warping so that is gonna be a slight issue be too much of an issue and I can just add some extra clay at the end. But, at least for now, there's our little escape key. You're gonna lurk. Good luck with sculpting. Okay, enjoy lurking. Thanks for dropping by. I had to double check it wasn't break time. <laughs> oh, my foot's falling asleep. Okay, I have to be careful about that. Oh. Move that little piece of brown aside. So I'm just very gently, up, up, up. Uh, very gently trying to put the little brown border on here. Unfortunately, it is not uniform thickness, which is not the best. But I'm just going to try and gently raise this petal up so it can go over the border. I may have torn it a little bit too much. I don't think I can pinch that one. I'll just have to touch it. Just very gently with the needle tool. Okay, I'm just bringing out the tiny ball twist. Is this the smallest one? I think it is. Actually, actually, I think I do have a smaller one. Okay, I'll wait then. Just barely pressing that in. Ah! That's what happens after it's done. You might reflip smack the escape key. Uh, hopefully it doesn't die or hurt my hands. That is the hope for these. Um, I am... I'm a little scared. <laughs> I'm a little scared that I'm making these too fragile. This is very much my first time making 
anything like it where I actually have to think about like it being held like super hard. Oh no. That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, well that broke. Okay, and I had to come back and reshape this because the corner was improper. Okay, now I need a tiny little bit just to cover up this corner because it did break. Set off right there. Should peel off right. Perfect. So, if I finish these and they end up being too fragile for keycap use, I'll probably just end up keeping them by my PC. This is this cute little, cute little succulents, and I'll probably try making something else for keycaps, or just put my old keys back in and say, "Well, I tried." Okay. So I think with that, I'm just gonna refine this edge again. There we go. So here is our little escape key. The real challenge will be to put a small caterpillar in there. <sighs> hmm, but where would the caterpillar go? I guess they could go in like this little corner. It is kind of open. Okay, but what color is the caterpillar? Because he can't be- he can't stand out. Oh, middle leaf. Okay, okay, I could see that. Like a little caterpillar around the middle there. What color? like this okay so I didn't use this color for anything else it looks more blue on camera but it's like a bluish green kind of like teal almost looks identical to middle leaf oh almost looks intentional that middle leaf oh uh, yeah I mean it could so we could try using like this this more blue color for the caterpillar or could go brown, but I don't really want to put brown on the middle leaf. Could go with a a more bright, like back with the more yellowish green. Uh, then it would kind of blend in with the middle of the leaf anyway. Is that the thinnest I can go? That might I think that's the thinnest. Doesn't even show up on camera. <laughs> the face! I can't do a face on the sky. Okay, it's just it's gonna be too small. I'm sorry, Flo. Like no, no faces happening on this one. No. It's 
so small. So freaking skinny. Do little balls. Uh, I mean, I could. That's just more connections. Jeez, even this is too big. All right. Okay. Although I did just think, um, it's gonna be too fragile. Um, Mr. Caterpillar would almost certainly be the first thing to break. You're always here to give more work. Thanks. Thanks, Flo. I always appreciate that. I'm definitely afraid of him breaking though, because that is pretty much the spot where my finger would be hitting. I love this little leaf here, which I am bending down just to make it slightly more, slightly softer. Why, why the copium? Why the copium? Just because I'm saying that your request is extremely improbable and impractical? Is that it? Is that why? You don't like being told that, that your request is unreasonable? For me thanking you for the job. Mm. Of course. Okay, let's try the low ball thing this time. Okay, yeah, no. No actual low balls would be easier. Just smearing. <laughs> They're just smearing into the table. Split. are so tiny. Okay, I will use one of these as like a test leaf to put them on. I don't think it'll be gain legs. Will not be a fuzzy caterpillar. Okay. Just very gently roll them together and they immediately. Hi. Tiny, tiny piece of clay. Oh my god. 
gosh. Okay, there are three so far. Can you even see those? I don't think you can even see the balls. I assure you, they are there. They are... Merely practically invisible. Gosh, you guys can't even see them on the desk, can you? Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, don't fall. Don't fall. a caterpillar anyway. You 100% believe me? Okay, thanks, Flo. Always appreciate the support. Ah! It is... it is worm. You can kind of see the segments? really long. Maybe I'll take the tail off then. At least compared to the other leaf. This is the little guy. such a bad idea, but okay, here we go. Okay, he's gonna be hiding inside the leaf. Oh no, is he gonna be too long? Oh no, he might be too long. He just remembered Weedle from Pokemon for some reason. I was thinking similarly. Oh my gosh. He looks huge. Like, he looks like such a big little guy. Yeah, camera's not really wanting to focus on it. That's slightly better. Uh. It's just. There we go. Okay, I think that's as good as I'm gonna get. be too big. But he's on there now. Should I put eyes? Should I, should I do eyes? Too tiny, tiny, insignificant seeming specks of brown. That's purple. How the heck did purple get on the table? I 
feeling brave to do face uh, kind of yeah just just the, the tiniest the tiniest of faces the tiniest of faces for the tiniest of caterpillars that's too big Okay, he has one eye. I'm literally just scraping it up off the table to do his face. has two eyes now. <laughs> now will you guys ever be able to see them? I have no idea. Just completely cover. No, it's not. We'll have to do a good photo session for the little guy after stream. I'll try. Yeah, I don't think I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see his little face at all. But there are oh oh you can kind of see it. Okay, right there, those two tiny, tiny little brown specks. He has eyes. They look like a mistake, but they are not. He seems to be asking for help. He might be. I mean, he's gonna be a key, so he's gonna get smacked. Like, a lot. So him asking for help seems pretty reasonable. It's getting wonky. Okay, probably shouldn't mess with it too much. It'll probably just make it worse. I think it's already making it worse now. Yeah. Yeah, it's making it worse. Try and get the lines back in the side. Oh gosh. I think I missed. I think I missed. Ah. Yeah, oh well. It will it will not necessarily be a flat keycap. Okay, but in terms of size. It still, still seems about right. Okay, if I grab my keyboard, bring it over here. Yeah? Yeah, that seems about right. Okay. <laughs> I dropped him face down. Okay, a little our little guy, he got slightly smushed. It's okay. He's fine. I need to be really careful. I realized there was brown. <laughs> nice place for a grave. Uh. Okay. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. Woo. Alright. Phone's at 48%. We've got a break coming in ten and a half minutes. I think we can start on another succulent. I'm gonna move the brown aside for now. I don't I don't think I have an immediate use for that. I might use it for the bottom. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll definitely take a picture. I'll definitely take a picture of him for after after stream. Rita, welcome. Hydrate. Okay. Rito, Rito, look. Look at what I have accomplished. <laughs> Behold. We even there's there's even a little guy in there. He's a little caterpillar. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna put him down before before I accidentally murder him, but he's a little guy. Yay! You think he's cute? Excellent. I think he's pretty cute too. I'm I'm pretty happy with him. Okay. Hmm. I think we should start on the other colors. Maybe like a more bluish one. Blue. Right now I'm thinking centerpiece for the next one. So because it is going to be the tab key, it is going to get smacked a lot. Like a lot, a lot. So I have to make sure that the middle is going to be really sturdy for this one. I almost wonder if it should be something other than a succulent in the middle. Like a rock. Like, if I should literally just make a rock to be in the middle of the key. It feels a bit like a cop-out, though. It might be better just to make, like, a, a kind of flat, large and flat succulent. Okay, we have plenty of these, so we can make another, another stripey boy. We still have some of the core as well. So we can make some more... Some more centers. Okay. I kind of want to combine these. Like turn them into another variegated. Or maybe just marbled? No, I don't think marbled would look <laughs> would look as good. Not for a succulent. Hmm. How how to do how to do this? Let's see. If we just start sort of like a flat. Thank thanks, Rito. Okay. I'm sorry, Rito, but um, I, I, I have a boyfriend already. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you for the compliments. <gasps> okay. Anyway. Oh yeah. Kitty cat. Oh, okay. She ignored me. Okay, so this time I'm thinking maybe like just put the stripes together like this. You can't compliment your friend. Uh, Rito, you're killing me, man. Okay, not really. You're you're fine. You're too flirty. You're too flirty of a person. I don't know how to deal with flirty people. Uh, okay. I do want to do this. 
You know what? I'm just gonna smush in. I'm just... I'm gonna do it! And figure it out as I go. Friends need compliments too. They they do. They do. People don't get compliments enough. They really don't. There's a severe lack of compliments in this world. So good job, Rito. You are you are fighting fighting for that need. So I'm thinking just kind of like smearing it in a little bit. I should guess a little bit more of like a variegated look. I don't know if this is going to work at all. I'm going to smear the other side too. I don't know what I'm doing with this one. We're just trying it. I like how this is looking. Like it's just it's just smeared in, but I like it. It's silly. Okay, not really silly. I think I'm losing my mind. My brain is shutting down. Oh well, at the very least we made one like super hecking cute succulent garden today, so even if even if I don't get all the way through this one. Like, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the progress today. Okay. So... I'm gonna cut this in half. I probably should have used the knife instead of the needle, but whatever. I'm gonna try just kind of like rolling up one of these. I'm kind of like squishing it. Just smushing it into a thing. I'm hoping that this will like blend the edges a little bit more. Like just by constantly smushing it. Just kind of moving it around a little bit. And we'll end up with not quite as much of a hard edge. Although kind of kind of looks like it's turning into that hard edge anyway, so... Not... not quite ideal. But... oh well. Alright. Let's try using our totally normal rolling pin. I swear it's, it's a totally normal rolling pin. Normal tool. Definitely, definitely not just a straw I found laying around. Nope. Probably hasn't been used for food. Okay, well that turned out something. It's just a flat thing. Okay. I'm just gonna fold it over again and kind of try again. I don't think this is going to work out the way I want it to. That's okay. That's okay. Alright, I'm cutting this one into kind of large chunks. Um, I'll leave that one. smush this one together a bit more and I'll try and have it be the core. So I think we're gonna go for like a big round succulent. 
So kind of like our previous cabbage little guy. Oh no, like all the green went away. Um, hmm. I was hoping for more of like a frosted tip look. I think it needs more green. Yeah, okay. I think it's time to make more dark green. Okay, so we will ah, take take the blue. Just very stiff. Okay, and then just a smidge in the yellow. Is that too much? That actually might be too much. Okay, just tiny little bit of yellow. We're just going to make some more green. And this right here is how I made all the colors we're dealing with today. Well, all the greens anyway. Okay, maybe I should have actually added some more yellow, but we'll see how this is. Oh no, the brakes are in. Ah! I will continue mixing after the break. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Ugh. The perils of needing to use the restroom and needing more water. 
Okay. Right. Mixing, mixing more green. That is what we are doing. Okay, yeah, I think it I think it needs more yellow. It reminds me. <laughs> okay, the current color. This looks almost exactly like some sticky tack that I used to have. I stole it from school. I mean, I was given it by the teacher. Because the teacher just didn't want any more. I think they were like a bunch of leaves or something. Because, you know, like high school and teachers being like, oh, we need to do like positive stuff. Ba -ba -ba. So there were like all these leaves up and and I was just helping take them down. And and the teacher was like, look, if you want these, you can have them and or maybe I was just like playing with the ball. Yeah. Somehow I ended up with it. They said I could take it. So I did. And I ended up playing with that stupid little ball sticky tack. For a very, very long time. Because it was basically clay consistency. I pretty much just treated it like clay. So I had it by my desk. And I would just make like all the things with it. It was fun. My hands would definitely end up sticky afterwards. And then once I got one of those, one of those um, need a bully racers, I ended up doing it with that. Actually, before I got one of those of my own, I would steal a friend's eraser during math class. So we would sit next to each other and every class. Every class, I would just steal her eraser. I would turn it into something during class, and then I'd give it back at the end. And a lot of the time, it was still in that shape when she... when she let me borrow it again during class. Okay, how did I get so dark before? I must have added brown. I must have added brown to it. Okay, we'll add a bit of brown. This is what happens when I mix all the colors a few days in advance. I don't remember what I did. I don't remember what exactly I made out of all those. Let's see. I know during during ceramics class, I made a few a few clay Pokemon. And I actually have them here in this room. It would be a little hard for me to grab them though, because they're kind of up on on the shelf that's behind my computer. I don't think I could get to it. Oh my gosh, this is taking so long. Well, you know what? I don't need to. I don't need to fully need it, right? Okay, so it's like kind of marbled right now. It looks a little ugly, but maybe it would end up looking interesting. <laughs> Look, they're living their best lives in Pokeballs. They're not in the Pokeballs, though. They're just out. I do actually have two Pokeballs up on the shelf, too. Along with a Lapras and Torchic that are supposed to go in those. They're cute. Oh, okay, okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. I know what to do with these. We're gonna go for the veining thing. But I'm gonna see if I can just kind of smush these together. I 
fold these. That's probably fine. And in half. Okay, I want to make sure not to, not to squish it too far. Okay, so we kind of have like the stripe thing going on. I'm thinking if we cut it like this, then we can kind of take those and kind of turn them into like little striped leaves. Similar to what we had before with the other one, but like a little different. Come on, focus please. There we go. So like each one will be pretty different. I think that's probably what we should do for this one. And then maybe with the other part we could try we could try adding in the dark green too. And they'll have a triple hue. So Well, this one's a little weird. It's like very, very marbled on this side. And then on the other side, it's a little more stripey. So depending on which side we use, that could be interesting. Okay. I'm gonna chop off some more of these. Gotta make sure I get some small ones too. Bitty bitty. Okay. All right, that should be a good core, I think. You're just a very slightly striped guy. This one's probably going to end up being the weirdest. I was hoping to have like frosted tips, but I just don't think it's going to work out that way. I want to see if I can make it. I just don't think it'll happen with these. with this. <sighs> Darn it. Now I'm thinking of Pokemon. And just... I used to be such a big Pokemon fan. And then it gets so disappointing. <sighs> just thinking about the new ones. Like, the main reason I bought my Switch is because I knew the next Pokemon was going to be on it. And I have not bought a single Pokemon for the Switch. Not a single Pokemon game. I have bought other Nintendo games, especially Zelda and Mario Kart. But... But not Pokemon. Like how Ash never grows up? Nah, that doesn't bother me. Although, he did retire. He did... he did finally... He did finally get retired. I never did watch that. The final season. I feel like I should do that just for my childhood, if nothing else. <laughs> okay, well... 
with few leaves. They're a little, they're a little funky. And nah, uh, the disappointment, the disappointment I'm talking about is more like how they massacred. <sighs> how they massacred the Pokédex. Draken, welcome, welcome. You finally decide he wants a real childhood before he dies of old age. Ugh. You've come out of hiding. Have you been hiding? Okay, I think we're gonna try adding the really dark green to this one. I'm gonna try turning into stripes. Oh, you've come up hiding for two hours. Okay. Good luck. This to get nice and thin. And then I'll just attach it to the bottom of this one. I actually really like this dark green. I think it's quite nice. It's definitely darker than the other greens we've made, but okay, just a little bit darker than that one. But I like it. Chop that off right there. And you know what? Where's my straight edge? There's my straight edge. Is using a straight edge a good idea for this? Not necessarily. I'm doing it anyway. Okay. Let's see how weird that got. Yeah, there's just like a little dark green stripe in there. Pretty much what's expected. Yeah, so then there's also dark green like in here. Which again is fine. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half. And then flip it around. And we're going to get what should be a nice blue interior. And then we're going to have like this really dark green exterior. So I'm just going to try and smoosh that all together. I'm not going to roll it this time because rolling it would kind of disrupt the pattern that I'm going for. Just gonna try and smush it down a little bit. Okay, well, I guess smushing didn't really didn't really help. That's okay. I'm just gonna more dark green to the outside. Oh, there's a neon piece in there. I think we will leave that. Anybody's wondering what I'm doing? Me too. <laughs> if this fails, I can just smush it all together and it'll be fine. I think I'm theoretically attempting... Uh, attempting to make patterned clay. I can then turn into cool looking leaves. But I don't think it's working. To... Yeah, no. Well, let's cut in half and just stack on top. I'll get it a bit thicker anyway. Or I could just roll it again. Seffy, is that green bacon? Uh, sure. Why not? Yeah, why? Why not? Green and blue bacon. Come on, let's just try slicing off a piece. And 
Let's see if we can turn this into a half decent leaf. Oh gosh, it's huge. Okay. Cut in half! In half again! It's too big! Okay, we'll sky it. It's got like a nice blue core, so... Maybe? Oh gosh, it's so weird. It's so weird looking. Yeah, yummy green bacon. Mmm. So tasty. Eh, backside isn't much better. Yeah. Well, if we could try it. Eh. As I row it. We can try making a succulent out of it. Like I said before, if all else fails, I can just smoosh it all together and just make another green. I kind of want to make another rounded one. I don't know if this would work well for it, though. I feel like it might make it look a little weird. Uh, well, give it a shot, I guess. So I guess I'm going to do that. I need to round out this one again. Well, if it looks good, maybe we can make it the centerpiece of the tab. That'd be good, right? Okay. Okay, well, let's pinch it again at the top. I think that gave a better color. Then round it again, get smeared all over my fingers. So you know, why not? Why not? This music is too epic for what I'm doing. Well, maybe that'll work. This looks like lightning. Just kind of funny. Okay. Let's go with nice thin slices this time. Oh, and you know what? You also have this guy, the cutoff. I think that would make a good center. Oh yeah, there we go. Like a nice little blue top. Looks like an eyeball. Yummy, yummy eyeball bacon. And let's see. Let's see if I can turn the other one into another good... Oh, that's gonna be big. That might be too big. Okay. Swap it around. Uh, 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 well, okay. It's awkward. It's awkward. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. We're experimenting. This entire thing's an experiment. It's fine. Totally, totally fine. Okay. But yeah, with the whole Pokemon thing, at least on the Switch, uh, it's like Game Freak has just kind of stopped trying. And instead of spending more time trying to make a nice polished experience with good Pokemon and good gameplay, instead they're just kind of trying to rush through the development cycle and hit like a 
I think it's like every two years having release or something insane like that. Yeah. Well, I take it back. I did... I take back what I said before about not buying any Pokemon game. I did buy Arceus. And I did enjoy Arceus, but I was also disappointed by Arceus, so... Yeah. I was disappointed by the graphics. The gameplay was good. I did very much enjoy the gameplay. Um... I never... I didn't 100% it, so I did not actually capture Arceus. But I did play quite a lot of it. Okay, I feel like I have a lot of big leaves. I need some really, really tiny ones. I don't know if I'll be able to get those with this. Is this even going to turn into a leaf? Maybe if I like kind of curl it. Maybe it'll work. Uh, yeah, yeah, that worked. It's got like just a tiny little bump in there. Do the same for this one then. Make a nice tiny little dot. Smush. Okay. Ah, hit off, off, fingers. Start doing this with the others too. Kaylin, thank you so much for the sub. Well, resubbing. Jeez, four months. Wow. But thank you. I really appreciate it. We are we're making succulents today for my experiment with keycaps. I think we still need more small ones. They're all just kind of too big. Okay. Swish. Definitely getting a lot of like this kind of zigzag pattern in the middle. Must just be a byproduct of how I'm doing this. It's happening a lot. Like a lot of these have that same pattern. Ah. Get off. Off. Oh yeah, the zigzag pattern is just kind of, it's in the original. It's really hard to see, but it is there. Ah, uh, you have been watching Chronic Lurker, you are. Hey, nothing wrong with being a lurker. I do the same. Been very impressive, you're not great at art things? Well, thank you! I definitely think art things are just a matter of practice. It's very much just one of those where just the more you do it, the better you get. There we go. Ah! Get off my finger! Put be upright, please. Ah, whatever. Flip you around with the needle tool then.
Okay, at this point I'm trying to make like more ovally type shapes. Uh, just because they did work a bit better, at least with the other succulent. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe I just have to remove Dewey from the playlist. It's so high pitched. Okay, a half hour before the next break. And tea time, right? Oh, okay, phone batteries at 36 though. Definitely gotta be careful with that one. Because if that's out, then we're done for today. Ah, off. Okay. Gotta get enough tiny ones for the center layers. Go. I think that one's pretty good. Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hope that wasn't too loud. I hit the desk with my elbow on accident. No, 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 don't, don't sit on top of each other. Okay. Okay, since this is meant to be the centerpiece guy. Probably still need, probably still need more petals. I feel like this one's gonna take so many, and probably still more small ones. Uh oh. Uh oh. That one kind of smushed. Well, that's definitely gonna be a small one, I think. Let's see if I can smush the dark green around to the other side. Well, the nice thing about making anything organic is that it does not have to be perfect. Imperfections are just part of nature. And that's why it's so much more fun to make something that looks organic than inorganic. Because then you don't have to worry about measuring perfectly. Yay! Wider, 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 but otherwise I, I quite like how that one turned out. I know they all basically look the same, but they're all unique, like snowflakes. I have a feeling that a lot of these are going to end up looking kind of like little rose petals. A lot of them want to turn into little hearts. Okay. Hit, hit. Okay, we probably have enough small ones now. So maybe we can try putting it together. Oh gosh darn it. Get net ah Okay, whatever. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, we got our centerpiece. And yeah, I like the idea of having having that part up. Oh, 
I just, I just realized something. I should be having the pattern on the inside, not the outside. Because then, then the blue will more be showing like when the petals are open, which I think will look a lot better. Especially because the outside ones are going to get covered up by the other petals. I need to be aware of that as we put these on. I mean, of course, then there are petals where it doesn't really matter because both sides are patterned, like this one. I feel like this one's gonna look way more cabbagey. This can be a cabbage in the middle of the succulent patch. really reading cabbage so far. Oh well, that's okay. Cabbage is fine, right? Okay. dropped him. <laughs> it's looking more cabbage. It's just becoming more and more cabbage. I think it's because the leaves are too thin for succulents. Yeah. I didn't make them thick enough because succulents have very thick leaves so for them to hold water. Okay, well, I will continue building the cabbage because he's still cute. He's just, um, might end up not in the succulent garden. <laughs> I might just have to put him somewhere else. Where? I have no idea. But somewhere. Eh. Mm. I think the leaves are starting to get too uniform looking. In uniform in placement, not not uniform in look. Although, you know, there's that too, but gosh, I freaking love this tool so much. Like it's a very standard pottery tool, but I heckin' love it. Because the bottom is so smooth, and so you can just like kinda use it to press into stuff. And of course, you know, the needle part. It's so nice. It's got such a nice grip too. It will never slip it out of your hand. I love it. Such a well-designed tool.
I'm starting to think I should probably find more songs to add. Simple but reliable indeed. Unfortunately, I have bent it, which is not great. You know what? I might call that good for our little cabbage boy. I don't think he needs much more. You know what? Maybe I'll use some of our other stripey, or other stripey leaves. Make them into more of a, a rose. Well, except rose leaves are quite a bit different. Actually, no. Nah. Nah. Instead. You know what? I actually have some wire. I could put this on wire. And turn it into like an actual flower. But first though I want to make the bottom it's very nice and defined. So I'm just kind of working around, smoothing it out. Well, what time is it for you? I feel like you should be in bed. Isn't it? Isn't it quite late? Well, maybe it does need one more leaf. You know what? I'm just gonna pull the stem off. It doesn't need it. Almost to it. Flo, go to bed! Go to bed! Two AM, that is time for sleeping, not watching a VTuber. I appreciate you being here, but go to bed. You're finishing something that you will okay. Okay, let me go grab my wire and then I will be right back. I mean, I'm not going that far. I'm just... Just over to my other side of the desk stuff. Flower. 
Okay, so to make sure that the flower stays on, I'm starting off by making a loop. So loop because otherwise the flower will not really want to stay on and it'll just kind of like spin around and that's never fun. You don't want your flower spinning around. Okay, I'm just trying to bend it a little bit. This is some pretty nice stiff wire that I'm working with here, so... Okay, and then I'm just gonna... Stick it right on in! Shoop! And I have no doubt that this wire will easily be able to survive the oven, so... I got no worries about that. Okay, and then... Alright, unfortunately in putting it in I did kind of sm smoosh the middle here. So we are going to take... Oh, which tool? Maybe my handy dandy little loop. Or, he's not a loop, but... I don't know what to call him. We're just gonna kind of pull the petals out a little bit. And right now the wire is still very much too long. So it is kind of like hitting everything down below, but that's okay. Stay down. So I think I'm gonna just make a little bit of texture here in the middle and then kind of smoosh it back in to make it look a bit more purposeful and less like a tool mark. Oh, sorry, I was off camera. I didn't mean to do that. So just kind of smushing it back in there. I know it's hard to see right now just because the camera is not really focusing. But just to make like a little center. It looks like a mouth. I could turn it into a little monster. Oh, that would be so cute. That'd be super heckin' cute. Okay, it'll be our little flower cabbage monster guy. So it's kind of hard to see his mouth, but it's it's right there. And then we're just gonna come and poke, poke little eyes in. There we go. Okay, he doesn't really want to be facing up, right? There we go. He's a happy little guy. And then maybe we will just add, add more leaves. Although if he's a cabbage, then those are his leaves, so I don't know. Should we add more of the other variety? I'm kind of thinking not. I think I like him just like this. So I'll take some of our clay that took off earlier. Rolled out just a smidgen. Cut down. And then I'll flip it upside down just so we can see better. I'm good. Cut down a little bit more, I think. Yeah. And just trying to put it around the base. I 
just kind of make sure he stays. Just so he stays on the wire. Uh-oh. I'm smushing his face more. No! Alright, let's grab a ball tool. And just gently... Okay, that one's too big. Let's try this side. Gently smear it in. And I am holding his face right now, but hopefully, hopefully it won't be too bad. Smear that up in there a little bit. I don't want to completely cover up the texturing from before. I do definitely want to make sure he's nice and secure. And then I'm going to have to figure out the issue of how am I going to bake this? Actually, maybe, maybe I won't cut the wire down until after. Because that way I could just kind of form it into a little stand. Gonna just bring the leaves out a little bit. Just give them a little bit more dimension. I think probably a knife for this. It's a fairly gentle knife. So I can just fold the petals out. I need another petal over here. I think I got too many on this side and not enough over here. But oh well. Uh, nature. Nature, am I right? Crazy stuff. So that's a side profile. Not perfect, but you know. What even is perfect? All right. All right, so went out to make succulents, end up making a monster instead. You love the cabbage? Excellent. I like our little cabbage guy. I think he's pretty heckin' cute. Maybe, maybe I'll still cut the wire down to like right there. That should be plenty of room for making a stand or whatever. I'll go just a little further, just in case, but yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Ta-da! And then I'm just gonna bend it around so that he can stand and stare at the world. Uh, maybe I can put some flower tape on him. He's sipping! He's sipping! Uh oh. Okay. Oh, 
Gotta be careful not to press into him. I want him staring upright. Play you need sleep, have fun on your garden. Thank you, Flo. Sleep good. Okay, I think I I think I screwed up the wire. This is fine. You guys are used to me messing everything up anyway. Totally normal. Totally normal. Catch our stream. Okay. Just gotta put a loop on it. Just let him sit. Put him upright. Please stay. <laughs> Please stay. <laughs> He does not want to stay. Please. Please, I am begging you. Don't make me attach you to a popsicle stick. Is the face just not big enough? Did I make it too wonky? Oh no. Oh no, he got clay in his leaves. I just have to put a weight on him when he goes in the oven. Okay, I'll just... I'll try to make a bigger loop. How about that? I didn't think it needed a bigger one, but here we are. I can't really replace his wire at this point. standing. <laughs> Alright, just need to make the loop bigger. Okay. Cabbage. Okay, and... Phone camera is down to under 30%. Okay, and it's almost time for a break, so I think we're probably just gonna call it here for today. So we did get one key done and cabbage. Oh, I think I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Probably could have probably could have done a little bit better on the key, not warping the box, but I mean, it's fine. I'm just trying to wipe off my fingers. Just a little bit. All right. I'm just gonna snooze the ads because why let them play at this point? Uh, yeah, so. There's a little succulent garden. Got a tiny little caterpillar on there, too. I definitely got the bottom bent, so I'm gonna have to fix that somehow. Probably just by adding more clay. That's probably going to be my solution for that. Uh, yeah. I think it turned out pretty heckin' cute. So... Yeah, who... who knows how I'm actually going to... attempt that, but... It'll go on this little pillar. And it will... It will become a keycap. I'm excited! Like, I'm pretty heckin' happy with how that turned out. I wasn't sure how today was gonna go, but... Yeah! Okay! Well, thank you so much, everybody, for coming. Hey, four hours of clay stuff. That ain't too bad. Alright, let's see... Let's see who we can go raid. In those. All right, Rito's Toon Star Citizen. Ooh, somebody's playing Hunt Showdown. That could be fun. 
Let's see. Hmm. Well, that's what you'll start your stream. Sorry, it's always so hard for me to to pick. Oh my gosh, okay. Well uh you know what? Have we have we rated redo in a while? I'm not sure if I've rated redo in a while. Why not? Why not? He's he's a pretty chill guy, so Okay, good. I did spell that correctly. <laughs> oh my god, why was I using that freaking keyboard? Okay, so rain messages, we got two of them. Uh use whichever one you want. Um the first one it is for well it uses um, subscription emotes so if you got them feel free to use them if not the free one it just replaces the whale cream with popcorn so once again thank you everybody for coming um, I hope you had a great time I know I ha I had a lot of fun today so it was good just gonna go ahead and swap over to the buy screen. Um, next stream is probably gonna be Wednesday, and that is gonna be Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion. I am super excited. I have been looking forward to that game for quite a while. So that's going to be starting at 12 p.m. <laughs> 12 p.m. PST, 3 p.m. EST, or 8 p.m. GMT. I keep needing to remember it's not seven, it's eight now. Because heck in daylight savings. Okay, anyway, I hope you all have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you. And here we go.